Hello, welcome to Business Statistics. In this lecture, I will talk about comparison of two population means uh, using Minitab 18. Uh, here is our problem. Uh, a, a large construction company would like to expand its operation into a new geographic area. The company has narrowed down the choice of locations down to two cities. A major consideration in deciding between the two cities will be the average hourly wage they must pay for general laborers. The company randomly selects laborers from each city and determines their hourly wage with the following results. Assume that the population variances are approximately equal. So in this case we have a city A where we took a sample of 20 uh, and uh, we got uh, our mean x bar as 7 and our standard deviation as 3. City B we took a sample of 20 our x bar is 8 and our standard deviation is 2. Uh, as you can observe our sample size is small that is less than 30 and our population variances are equal. Uh, we can use uh, T stat so we, we don't know our population variances here. Uh, so in that case we will use sample variances. So the first question is to calculate a 99% confidence interval for the difference in average hourly wage between city A and city B. Interpret the interval. So to solve these problems first we will write our uh, null hypothesis and alternative. So our null hypothesis would be mu a minus mu b is equal to zero. That means there is no difference in wages for between city A and city B. Uh, the the difference is zero when there is no difference. Uh, here alternative would be mu a minus mu b not equal to zero. If they are not equal to zero, that means there is a difference uh, in the wages of city A and city B. So let's uh, do this problem uh, using uh, Minitab 18. So I go to uh, um, the Minitab 18 and go to uh, stats, uh, basic stats and it is two sample T. So if you observe here you don't have for one sample you have one sample Z and one sample T however for two samples uh, you, you don't have uh, Z. Uh, you can even though your sample size is large you can use two sample T uh, for these problems. So we will always use two sample T in Minitab. So now if you see it's uh, uh, both samples are in one column so we don't have any samples and then so our, each sample is in its own column we don't have any sample in our worksheet so now we can use a summarized data we have results right so we will kind of click on summarized data and then our sample size if you see uh, for a city a and city b is 20 each right so I will type 20, uh, 20 here and sample mean uh, if I go uh, it is 7 and 8, 7, 8 sample standard deviation is 3 and 2. Now, if you see the problem, we wanted a 99% confidence interval. So we will go to options and if you see the difference is sample 1 minus sample 2 mean confidence interval is 99. Hypothesized difference is 0. So if you see our hypothesized difference mu a minus mu b is 0. Our alternate uh, hypothesis is difference not equal to uh, hypothesized difference so that is uh, mu a minus mu b not equal to hypothesized difference so we assume uh, equal variances so we will click on that now click ok and click ok 
so here we got our results uh, i will copy these results to our uh, uh, word document so here is our results so mu1 is mean of sample 1 mu2 is mean of sample 2 difference is mu1 minus mu2 and we assumed equal variances so this is descriptive statistic for each of the sample for sample 1 we have uh, the sample size of 20 the mean is 7 standard deviation is 3 and standard error is 0.67 for sample 2 again we have 20 uh, so the sample size is 20 mean is 8 standard deviation is 2 and the standard error is 0.45 if you see the hypothesized difference uh, it's uh, negative 1 and uh, uh, the pooled uh, standard deviation is 2.55 so our question asks us uh, if you see our question it is asking us to calculate the 99% confidence interval so if you see this is our 99% confidence interval so our lower bound for the 99% confidence interval is negative 3.186 and upper, our upper bound is 1.186 so what this is telling is uh, uh, it ranges from negative 3.186 mu a minus mu b that is our uh, hypothesis uh, difference uh, lies between negative 3.186 and 1.186 you can clearly see that zero lies within that so that means our zero value of our null hypothesis lies within this range so that means our null hypothesis is true so if you have a negative value and positive value that means zero is within that number line so the that means we cannot uh, we, uh, we cannot reject our h null so so zero uh, i will type in somewhere here mm, z maybe mm, zero is in the uh, uh, in the the confidence interval so we reg uh, we uh, so do not reject h null okay so that's how uh, we make conclusion uh, using uh, the 99% uh, uh, confidence interval so this is interpret the interval that is what we interpreted because zero is in the confidence interval we don't reject uh, uh, h null does this data indicate there is significant difference in uh, uh, hourly wages at alpha is equal to 0 0.05 so we took here 99 percent uh, so if we wanted to see whether there is a significant difference at 99 percent the other way you can check it is by using p-value so you might know if p-value is less than less than alpha so if it is less than alpha reject h null So we'll see whether we fulfill this criteria. Our p-value here is 0 0.222. So p-value is 
point two two two, and our alpha is. So if you consider ninety nine percent confidence interval, our alpha would be point zero one. So it's less than. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Is it less than point zero one? This statement is false. It's not true. Point two two is larger than point zero one, so we don't reject. Uh, do not reject H null. So this is for ninety nine percent confidence interval. So now again we can do the same thing with uh, alpha is equal to point zero five. So I will go to our uh, um, uh, mini tab and go to stat. Uh, basic statistics uh, to sample t. All these values are same. However, our confidence interval is 95 percent. So I will click again. I am assuming equal variances. Click OK. Click OK. So we have a new data set. Again, if you see, we have a. Uh, I will copy this. Maybe. You know, Two sample. Okay, uh, I will copy this uh, here. So if you see our confidence interval again, we have a negative value and a positive value. That means zero lies within this. So do not reject H null. That means mu a and mu b are equal. And our p-value is again 0.222. It's less than it's so p-value 0.222. Is it less than 0.05? P-value less than alpha. So this statement is again false. So don't reject H null. So this uh, uh, concludes our lecture on uh, 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 two sample mean comparison using Minitab uh, 18. Uh, thank you.